So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Reposaris 4. We are of course playing with the Domination DLC as France. As we are currently reorganizing our armies and... <laughs> I mean, what, what am I to say? We are, st we are strong, like... <laughs> this is like one of the reasons why I usually never play strong nations. I mean, I'm still curious if like we're gonna get something cool, like something like where I say, okay, this is this was worth trying. But <coughs> that is to be seen, right? Okay, for now, what we have to do... I am curious if I should go exploration. But at the same time, I feel like we're gonna do a lot of this stuff from Conquest. Oh, this actually poaches up uh, uh, Paris. Paris, sorry. Then we have something in Indian. So, I love base production. Okay. Oh, we, we, we fucking renamed the chat. Okay, that's just, that's just fun. Alright. Yeah, but for now, I do want to reorganize these armies. To give everyone what they deserve. I'm not willing to get rid of uh, the uh, guys yet. Obviously. But we are very close to getting all of this stuff done, right? I think this fort we can remove. Yep, you have done your part. We do need to improve Amor, as far as I remember, as well. So the capital and Amor we do need to improve. Yeah, Amor needs to be improved four times, so we can get this one. And we actually can do this one right away. Huh. Permanent power projection. You know what? I mean, we do have, we don't have the renaissance here, so maybe this even is reasonable. No, it's not. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> it's not at all. Okay, let's push up Paris a bit more. With the ones that we have nearly full. Because, like I said, I'm not taking this ahead of time. I have no reason. I'm not at war. And this does reduce this cost quite significantly. Uh, let's keep getting papal influence. I mean, to be honest, with the Pope, you have a bunch of decent stuff that you can take. Oh, we oh we can take the... Uh, yeah, this one is going to be very useful. Don't have a Holy War, we don't need stability. I think we're going to save this up, so we can definitely take this one. Because that is just a reasonable thing to do. But yeah, this is coming around soon. Do we embrace? That's a question. It's gonna get a little bit more reduced, technically. Let's take- let's wait until next year. Alright, Castile is my rival as well. Cool, cool. I guess we could wait for this to be improved eight times. I think we have now six times, right? Yeah, so we do need just to do this once more. This also should reduce the cost, yeah, by quite a bit. And I think now we can embrace it. And now we can also take these things. Let's get the men at arms in. Lovely. We can also take two more horses. Lovely. Alright. Uh, this one was which mission? Jesus Christ. This is a little bit... Uh, oh, we of course have the Renaissance. Influence from Italy and the dawn of the Renaissance must make their way into the heartlands of our nation. To do so and adhere to adopting new advance in science, arts and culture will only serve our great nation. Yeah, we get a uh, very cheap advisor, which we're probably gonna throw in. We get some admin points, and we get Leonardo da Vinci's workshop. Quite nice. I mean, yeah, 2.4, we need to get this guy in. For that cost, surely. Alright, we need the fate of John the Ark, a uh, national decision. This one... Oh, we need to just make the Pope happy. I mean, that's something that we should do anyway. Why do you feel threatened by me? I've not done anything. I'm not, e I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. Sorta. Let's ally the Pope. I mean, <laughs> why shouldn't I? Uh, the other missions, of course, I'll take a look. Three provinces. Has been improved five times or have university. Wait, one of the following must be true. One is to lose, or one of these special and has at least two buildings. 
Or they have... Oh, so basically we need to improve... Huh? Wait. This... Should technically mean that none of these... Or am I just wrong here? But I guess they, they mean actually these two... These provinces having at least two buildings. Okay. Now we need 12 ca temples. Okay, 12 temples also. So these two are doable. Temples we are gonna, I think, at this point throw around like crazy. And for this one we just need to wait. For this one... Religious ideas, paper controller, or the clergy is very loyal and we have fulfilled a lot of agendas of them. Either way, uh, the, the other mission that I was talking about... This one. So basically we ju now just need to wait for these guys to be happy enough and then we could activate that, but we still need ground land. So, next thing on the list is Amor. So we can turn this off. And yeah, the French infrastructure is useless. <laughs> Friendly movement speeds... It's a little bit eh. Of course, we could run around in our own territory quite fast, but that's about it. <laughs> like, I don't feel too impressed by this, uh, uh, by this addict, and I don't see a reason why I should implement it in any way or shape. Oh, oh, fuck no! <clears throat> Just some quick decisions, you know, just to get things organized. England nearly has all of their stuff done here. How are we looking on the uh, uh, stuff here? This is probably not an easy way to get done. This screams diplomatic ideas. I mean, they have that first thing done already. I'm not even sure if I should bother with becoming the Holy Roman Emperor, Emperor actually. This could just be straight up annoying. Oh, I'd actually, before we do anything here, I want to quickly take a look at the new ideas. <laughs> I've not see, uh, I've not really uh, taken a closer look at them yet. And there's also has been some changes all around. But yeah, infrastructure is uh, state maintenance, global prosperity growth, construction cost, expand infrastructure cost modifier, movement speed and center of trade upgrade cost, state governing cost, fort maintenance, construction time and oh, the dwarfs. <laughs> and development cost, so infrastructure is definitely Quite nice. We have the court ideas, which just gift uh, uh, loyalty, prestige, reform progress. Reduce max absolutism impact from privileges. To keep them around. State direction cooldown, monarch diplo skill. That's also interesting. I mean, it's not completely broken, but it's very interesting. And mostly, I think we can just ignore because. Hmm. The longer do army professionals, we're not gonna bother with them. Right? I mean, it looks good. It looks good for most when you play mercenaries, but we are not, so. <coughs> now is the question Do we immediately go for diplomatic ideas? Or do we go for aristocratic? I mean, I also want to es get espionage. There's a lot of stuff I want, actually. <laughs> but I've kind of had this now discovery idea. Sorry for the quick interruption there. Overall, with the aristocratic ideas, the only reason why I should pick as aristocratic ideas is because I now have this cavalry idea. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Screw it. It's probably not a good idea, but I've now had this in my head, so I'm just gonna stay with it. Alright, but of course we're gonna do the tech first, because we have been quite behind on that. So let's rather deal with it first. Let's also make the Pope happy before we do anything. I also need to make the Pope happy for this, right? 180. Invested in Papal Influence at least 50. Okay, if we align ourselves with Pope, we gain Monarch Points and Papal Influence. Every time a new Papal Bull is enacted, which is nice. We get permanent claims on the Palestine area. If we defy the Pope, we actually get a subjugation. No, I'm aligning with the Pope. Screw it. I mean, I've allied him, 
So we might as well just go full on. Mission event. What do we have need? Okay, so basically we do need to own this stuff. Okay. Oh, we even get this ahead. We even got that. Okay. I'll take it. The middle needs succession. Who's your friends? Okay, you have useless friends. Wait a second. <laughs> Let's just quickly do this. I mean, this is a given, right? Of course, it it's gonna be a lot of aggressive expansion, probably, but... Oh, that is gonna be a lot of aggressive expansion. <laughs> uh, we have an improved relation guy here, okay? Oh, we are losing money. Okay, that's not nice. I do that. This is gonna be a bit threatening. Because Milan is unsurprisingly rather sizable. Hmm. It's full on aggressive expansion. This is this is gonna be painful. There's nothing else to be said about that. And currently we still have potential threat going on here anyway. Like England and uh, Burgundy. I guess I could balance them out a little bit. How, how long do I have to cast a spell? I. Fourteen ninety one. This is okay. You're a lot better than uh, the other choices. I guess it's also now time to build temples all around. Could you guys stop? Like for real? I would appreciate it if you would stop beating me. Alright, so we can at least do this one. The Reef of John the Ark. John of Ark. Sorry, English after all. Okay. She is now considered a meta. Gets some prestige. Alright. So that unlocks another mission, right? That's the trial. So we need to get the clergy pretty high up there. Which, I mean, they have the influence, they just need more opinion. We also need to fulfill four agendas of them. What a coincidence, I'm currently building a church in Paris. <laughs> What a coincidence. Alright. Oh, well, with that knowledge, let's calm down. Let's take the military one, so we actually are with the times. You guys do your thing. We do have uh, some... Okay, I, we do, did conquer you. Okay, slowly but surely we're getting some more breathing room. Now that we uh, get rid of the stuff. Shut up, Scotland. <laughs> I mean, my alliance to Scotland is more just a way to keep uh, uh, the, f uh, the English in check, more than anything. So, what do we want here? Centralize, decentralize, expand royal court, royal favoritism, Church or representatives of the crown. I mean, this one just seems... They do... I mean, I, I guess at the moment this is just the right choice, right? Do they give me money? Yeah, as well. I assume that they count as vassals. Wait, let's actually check this. 122? Uh, 1.2? Okay. <laughs> I mean, let's wait for a monthly tick. Let's be that fair. Okay, did not... Did not uh, uh, affect that. 
That's a shame, but it affected this, so that's alright. Let's take another horse. That should be enough, right? Let's get rid of these peasants. And their silly ideas. That should be a mission fulfilled. Wait a second. Why is this no longer active? Oh, free stability we need for that. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. That's gonna be another ad admin chunk. So be it. Alright, but let's form the gendarme. We get the gendarme government reform, which empowers our cavalry and morale damage. The need for a proper army, infused with heavy cavalry, is the main factor that will help us further our goals towards seizing political power and centralizing our realm through the might of, st of a standing army. We gain access to it. Which questions where it is? To be honest, I have no idea where it is. Is it this? Oh, Jesus Christ. There, there, there it is. Okay, 10% accountability, com moral damage, and the lo uh, nobility will be more loyal. I mean, looking at all of this... Yeah, this one needs a while, anyway. We're gonna later on probably switch away. Or oh, does this then make sense? Oh, I don't think that makes sense then. If I mean, later on we're switching uh, away from this bonus. Anyway. Because we do want musketeers. Yeah, we do want musketeers later on, so I'm not even sure of this. Okay, you know what? No, no, let's 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 not do that. Instead, let's do. I mean, either diplomatic, or we immediately going for an admin one. Currently speaking, we are behind on admin, so maybe we do want to go for a diplomatic one. I feel like currently this is just gonna be a healthy thing. Did it? Wait, oh no, it does the improve relation. We're gonna get an improved relation, we get a diplo reputation, we get a province wars co cost, we get the reduction here. Yeah. I mean, influence ideas, uh, I don't think makes any sense. We're not gonna expand too much focus on that. Of course, we currently have a lot of vessels, but we're at some point we're not gonna have a lot of vessels. So, yeah, diplomatic. Diplomatic it is. We're focusing on diplo anyway. Wait, when did I click that? I guess we're focusing on diplomatic. Good to know. I wasn't aware of such, but apparently we are. Right, but our manpower is back in check. We have some loans to repay. But overall, I guess at this point we need ground land. We can click this one soon enough again. Times of needs. Can you give me my ground land back? <laughs> sure, let's get military aid. I guess I could have done Diplo as well, but too late. Thanks. Very cool. Alright, let's continue with that. 41%. I mean, we do need to do a little bit more devving, so we might as well. We also know when you're becoming an empire, right? Okay. A church in... Uh Limousine, right? Yep. And I guess we're also gonna stop paying the army just to get rid of loans and get some money in again. But I guess, yeah, these, these heavier uh, carry armies here I think will be useful now. Of course, later on. Oh, you had a civil war. Good for you. <coughs> Very cool. So we have currently Burgundy potentially to take. We have potentially uh, Milan to, ta to take. We still have, of course, the aggressions all around that we have caused ourselves. <laughs> I mean, we have to admit that. Do we dig for a brutalization guy? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, of course, we're going to take the Casas Belli. Galetsu, Ragusa, and like, the thing is, we can fight these guys. Like, we have no issue fighting against these guys. 
I'm just concerned about aggressive expansion that we're gonna cause with fighting these guys. It most certainly will cause uh, quite a bit of anger anyway. Uh, let's take that... Yeah, we're gonna take that stability. We're gonna go up to 50 again anyway. We could once again take this one thingy, but we don't wanna. We can't enter a golden era. Yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. We're currently at a point where we want that. Let's just rush through that before we do anything else diplo-wise. Ah. Uh, yeah. Seems like you guys, uh... Did you just switch or did you go for a different election type? Oh, I don't know. Well... We lost one, Casa Belli. This one lasts 50 years, so I'm probably sh we should be alright with that. Fuck! <laughs> it's the only thing I can say to that. Just a good old fashioned fuck. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. How much development do my vassals bring to the table? Not much. So that is not Empire. It's not Empire at all. Okay. I guess I'll take the the legitimacy hit. At least we have power projection and such current going on. Let's keep this one rolling. Oh, you're now allied to Castile and Porch. Uh, and this is always the thing. They always come. This is or they, are, they I always will be like that. Do we have <coughs> any way here? Like these guys, of course, are. Not so, I mean, let's take, just take a look. You're too small. You're too small. You're too small. You're too small. Cool. I guess everyone but all they are. No, wait, they are all too small. Okay. Well, I guess we're no longer doing that then. But it seems like Paris is getting bigger and bigger. As everything flocks towards Paris. I should probably also get another leader here. Just so that we have that. Sure. Let's just keep all of the royal marriages going. Here and there and everywhere. We have a restoration of union. We, we could take provinces here. But that would of course upset a little bit of the balance. Because we do want quite a chunk out of you. Don't we? For one of the missions, we do need... Not that. We need all of this. This is a question now. The Burgundian inheritance can trigger. Which of course I let the other gun. I mean, that was one that will once again be quite a universal war. Oh, now we're actually making money. Lovely. It's time to build a bunch of churches anyway. Oh, Castile. I'm not sure why, but I'll take it. The Pope could help out with this. Right? I mean, you don't have anyone that I care about. I can tell you that. The, like, these guys should be an easy target. Okay, there's a pretty decent chunky uh, building that we can go for here. Let's do those as well. I mean, we do need to build other stuff, right? It, it did say... In certain places, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and for this one we just need to wait. And we would get our feud French absolutist monarchy. Centralized estate will add plus one random development to everyone province in the area. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. I can tell you, <laughs> this is gonna be a tall France. I 
Uh, the, we did have a few more here. Deploy advisor cost, why not? Still no. I mean, do we dig for roof relation guy? It's gonna be expensive. Definitely. Let's get this one. Yeah, we're, we're not. Could you guys stop dying? Is that a thing? I'm running out of legitimacy here. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be building uh, uh, temples, but... Opportunity has arisen. Let's raise it like that. Not even England is that angry anymore. Maybe I am gonna go for Naples. Naples is quite a bite. Oh, we have a permanent taxation system. Okay, yeah, lo lovely. I take it. Of course, we are we are actually uh, somewhat uh, important. We are gonna get some events that actually are beneficial. That's crazy. Nah. Oh, thanks for the. 50 admin. Because now we should be a little bit more eager to take these things. There's not idea group coming about anyway. I am I am currently thinking towards attacking Naples now. We do have the Pope on our side as well. So I don't feel too bad. Of course, this is gonna cause trouble, but only around here, and we have a lot of... Yeah, you know what? Conflict it is. Yeah, I guess with this, this one we're gonna keep for now. Oh, the Adiberian wedding happened. So we've lost a rival. Which means we're gonna get England back into the fray. <laughs> And now Castile is my rival again. Very cool. Alright, but Restoration of Union. These guys are not gonna help me. But I think this will be alright. First things first, we're gonna just beat up Savoy here. Italian Wars happened to us. So mercenaries are just gonna be cheaper. Lovely. Do we just r run into you? That's a question. Yeah, we do. You're running away. That might mean that you're gonna that you're currently consolidating somewhere. I mean, the most annoying one here will be France. Uh, will be uh, oh. will be Venice. Oh, this is a stupid fight. I shouldn't take this fight. Yeah, we're not taking this fight. This is silly. Venice just oh, has another mountain fort. I feel like I could win that if I would... This is unreasonable, I shouldn't take this fight. But we're gonna get slapped here. I don't know if this is reasonable. Oh no, there's, there's the Naples joining. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, get the hell out of here. Let them come to us. I shouldn't be t too aggressive. So, let let them do something silly. I don't need to do silly things. England has lost a great power status. Let them let them all run around in these masses. I I think I'm alright with that. And when they kind of get a little bit funkier. Oh, there's already someone on my. Okay, this is fantastic. Let them do silly things. Let them split up. Let me take on these smaller armies. Oh wow, you actually managed to get here. So, that's that. Oh, uh, I don't want to be that guy, but that was dumb as fuck. That is also dumb as fuck. <laughs> Let's wait until you're locked in. Don't need more for this. Oh, okay, well, sure. 
With the fucking idiots. This is always the thing, like, oh, they're actually doing something decent. Oh, no, they're not. No, no, that's that's just... <laughs> that's just an illusion. <laughs> a, merely a trick of the light. <laughs> okay. Just lost the whole stuff. Very cool. Let's deal with Savoy. Ah, Our really cool guy died. That's a shame. Let's start sieging all of these things. Venice has just lost their whole army. Naples has n uh, Naples has not lost their whole army. Uh, is this gonna be picked next year? No. Alright. Pick ahead of time. I'm willing to do that. Now. Offensive? Infrastructure. I might be even like what like really uh, attempted to go for infrastructure. That feels like something reasonable, right? I could go innovativeness, but I feel like I'm getting already a lot of bonuses there anyway. Economic has also been changed. There is no longer development cost reduction here. This is just money. All right. Screw it. Uh, you guys could technically help out with these fights instead of just waiting and. Uh, just quickly kill you. And they once again have made their way towards my capital. Oh, this has been picked. Oh. There we go. Tax and wars taxes cost. Ah, do we want that? No. But some taxes is not bad. We're also gonna end this episode here. So like always, like Simon Shenanigans, and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!